welcome to another episode of Sugar Drop and Snacks. And thank you again. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We appreciate it. You know, uh, we review parks. We just did some uh, park, Scissor Tail Park. Food, restaurants, and don't forget snacks. Yes, snacks. So today we are um, reviewing Larissa's. Uh, this is from Larissa's Kitchen, and it is Korean barbecue. Beef jerky. Beef jerky, yes. Now, in this bag right here, why don't you tell us about this bag, Snacks? This is homemade beef jerky, and I made this uh, probably about four days ago. It's dried in dehydrator, so we're going to compare this, but the beauty says, let's compare it also to yours. So, let's see which one we like best. We're not going to play favorites. Larissa's Korean barbecue. So on this side, we have Larissa's Korean barbecue jerky on this side. Mm -hmm. And tell us about over here, what do we have? And this is a homemade jerky here that I made. And, um, you know, I put my own flavors into it. I put mustard. I put some uh, pepper. And I did an old-fashioned mustard. You know, the kind with the seeds in it. So... Uh, it's kind of more of a vinegar base because I also have apple, apple cider vinegar in it. But we're just going to compare it for fun. So appearance. So Larissa, based on appearance, it looks appealing to me. Mm -hmm. It looks very appealing. Yes. So, you know, um, I would say for appearance, I would give it a five because you can see some of the, I guess, what would you... What is that? Are those flakes that they have in it's there? It's a little bit of seasoning that they put on it. Seasoning? It looks good. And when you break into it, it just breaks real easily. So, you know, they made this completely different than the way I did it. But I, I like the appearance. I think it's a five. I think it's a five for appearance. Mmm. That is really good. I like that. Mmm. It's soft. It's not tough like no, regular. No, this is soft. You know, sometimes you get a jerky and you're like, oh my goodness, this is so tough. It's mm, just yeah. not, this is really tender. It is tender. It's soft. Yeah, this is made completely different. You can tell that they, they ground this and then they dried it. That's why it's so soft and tender. So it's, that's just a pointer that I can learn from them. So for taste, I'm not a big jerky person. Mm -hmm. um, so for taste... I give them a four. I think they're pretty good. I think it's pretty good, too. I like it. I think that the taste is good. Um, for me, I would like it if it had more flavor. So I'm going to give it a four. Okay. See, I think it has a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all preference. Mm -hmm. Smell. I can smell the, the barbecue. It does remind me of Korean barbecue, actually. Mm-hmm. So for the smell, I give it a five. I think it has a nice smell. I'm a five. Um, I think they did a really great job on the texture of this. Yeah. So I give them a five. I think it's a good texture. I'm going to give it a five also. Mojo, again, I said I'm not a big, you know, beef mm -hmm. jerky person. So I'm going to give this a two. I'll tell you what, on the Mojo, it's not that bad to me. Um, I can see myself eating this really up. In comparison, because I know how this tastes already, but in comparison, I would eat a bag of this. And I think it's a five. I think this is good. Beef jerky. Right. My beef jerky, I didn't grind it. I cut it thin, sliced it, and it was basically on the uh, dehydrator for a little bit over eight hours. And I cut it with, uh, I cut it against the grain to make it a little bit more tender. So you can see the difference in the texture because this one is not ground. Right. And I can hand you one. So compared to... Right. You can tell they ground theirs up. So I'm, I'm probably going to make some in the future like they did it. But uh, on appearance, you know, you can definitely see a difference in appearance. Yes. So the appearance, I mean, but to me, your beef jerky looks... It's more traditional. More traditional, like I find at a truck stop or whatever. Yes, right. You know, the strips. Um, trucker snacks. So, uh, uh. and then for the taste on yours, mm -hmm. I really can taste the mustard. Yeah. To me, it tastes more like barbecue. It's more of a vinegar-based barbecue. 
Yes. What do you think about the smell? I smell the vinegar. Exactly. Yeah, I can smell the vinegar for sure. And a little bit of the seasonings. Mm -hmm. Now on the texture, I think that mine has more of a traditional texture. So this is the kind I used to have when I was a kid. Yes, yeah, see, this is the kind that I am familiar with, mm -hmm. this type. So I really, that's what I liked about Larissa's, mm -hmm. um, is that it was different. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes beef jerky to me is just so hard to chew. You know, you're chewing right. and chewing. And that's just it. You know, if you cut it with the grain, it's a different texture as opposed as if you cut it against the grain, it's supposed to be more tender. And uh, one thing that I've found is that if you take this and you cut it up into this little, say, half inch bite size, it changes the appearance, but it's a lot easier to chew. Yes. So, yeah. So what me, do you think about on the mojo? Mojo, I mean, with you, I love you. Oh, I, I know. I ain't you. worried about that. <laughs> you know. We're, we're talking about beef jerky. We ain't talking about me. So we are talking, you know, you're a great cook, but... Like, again, I'm not a big beef jerky person, so I would give you a three. Okay. Well, that's fine. For me, I like this. I like this one also. I'm going to give myself an actual four on the mojo. I think that this texture is better, and I'm tempted now to just go ahead and grind this and see if I can get closer to this texture. So, but uh, no, I appreciate your honesty, but we just wanted to give people something different to compare. Well, that was our review of Larissa's Korean barbecue jerky. So, and we got this particular bag at Nordstrom's, Nordstrom's Rack. So until next time. Remember to. Bring the sugar. sugar.